It's time now, though, for the third quarterfinal on Recurve Saturday as we focus on the men's competition here in Moscow. Bottom half of the draw is all sorted out. Kim Woo Jin going through against Mete Gazos. Mario Nespoli will be his opponent in the semi-finals, winning against Bei Ji Hyun. We now move to the top of the order. Well, the coaches are out. It's an all Dutch affair. Steve Vier will lead out. Chef Vandenberg. Huge match up here. Steve Vier is the European champion. He picked up a silver medal at the European Games in Minsk. He's up against Chef Vandenberg, who won this event in 2016, and he is the current indoor world champion. On target number one. The stats are a little up and down. Chef Vandenberg probably the more consistent, as you can see, with a higher average arrow, but it's more match wins for Steve Vier, and he's better in a tiebreaker. Chef Vandenberg is the world number seven at 24 years old, qualified by ranking. These two have met three times in the past, and as you can see in the head-to-heads, it's Steve Vier with a 2-1 advantage. Steve Vier is the 22-year-old Dutch athlete who is currently the world number six. So we have the world number six against the world number seven as the American Brady, sorry, Brad Galantina looks on at what promises to be a thriller here between two Dutch archers. That was just Peter Elzing, a great compound archer from the Netherlands, standing in the box for, uh, for Steve. Steve Vier will get us underway here. Eight. That looks like it's an eight. It may go to a measure. We'll wait and see. A big adjustment from Steve Vier. Chef Van Berg has an early opportunity in this match. Nine. Slightly better start than Steve, also making an adjustment. That first arrow tells you exactly where you need to start aiming or if you need to move your sight. Into the 10 ring. Shows you that he just really trusted his shot and that he executed well. Oh, look at them. They're matching each other in terms of improvement, but Chef Vandenberg has the early advantage with that nine in his first arrow. Oh! Now has a big opportunity. Good long maken. Blijf in balance. Prima tempo, eh? Long hold for Chef Vandenberg, but he gets a nine and gets 28 points, and that takes him to the first two set points. Okay. So even if Chef has a long hold, I don't don't get too excited because okay. he has a tendency of shooting tens. Drives me nuts. Yeah, he, he's Mr. Consistent, and it has been. He's probably the most consistent of the archers, but he keeps losing out in bronze medal matches this year. You know, breaks my heart. Chef is is one of my personal favorite people in the world. He is just fantastic, but he's waiting for that big win. He keeps facing Brady Ellison or Kim Woo Jin, who are giant speed bumps to him. But first today, he needs to get past his teammate, Steve Weiler. Yeah, Chef Vandenberg has been one of the season's most consistent archers. He came agonizingly close to winning this title in 2016, where he lost a final shoot-off against Brady Ellison in Odens. Can he do it here, though, in Moscow in 2019? Steve Vyatt trailing will shoot first in the second set. Nine. Just Eight. outside the 10. He's still on the right side of the target. Oh. 
an eight nine way. liner. They're calling it an eight. Yeah, I wonder if that will go to a measure. Great shooting from Steve. He's definitely no found way. the middle now. He looks so calm and comfortable in his shot. He's definitely put this second set in his own hands. A mm -hmm. nine Make from Vandenberg. Is he going to put this one out of reach? Oh. It's an eight. So, Chef Vandenberg can draw level, but he needs a 10. Oh, yeah. uh, he hits the 10 at nine line, and that will be marked as a 10. And the two share the points in the second set. And that means Chef Van Vandenberg got an opportunity to get out of jail. He leads this quarterfinal against his teammate three points to one. Steve said when the draws came out that it didn't matter who he's shooting against, he's here to win and he's going to go until the end. Chef, on the other hand, was very sad that he was shooting against Steve, and, but he said um, at least they're going to have a Dutch man in the semifinals. How tough is it to shoot against a teammate? It's definitely not the person you want to meet, especially in the first match, but when I spoke to Kimu Jin, he said, you know, everybody that steps into this arena, you're not necessarily teammates, you are shooting for your country, but it's athlete versus athlete. Well, Come on, Chef Vandenberg got an opportunity to get out of jail. He needed a 10 and he got it in the last set. He leads 3-1, so it's his teammate Steve Vier to shoot first in the third set. Great first arrow from Vira. And in balance blijven. I love that shot from the chef. It had great timing and very much an X. Looked great. A nine. Good shot. Good grouping from Vaya, but it does open the door for Vandenberg. He puts it into the nine. Look at that alignment from Steve. So strong, directed towards the target. Nine. Vandenberg can take this set. A 10 will do that, a 9, and they'll share the points again. Oh. And he gets the 10 he needed for the two set points. A 29 out of 30 for Chef Vandenberg, and he's 5-1 up against his teammate Steve Vier. Can Steve Vier get back into this match? If there's anyone that can put some pressure on Chef, I know it's Steve. He knows how to shoot 10s. I think he might have just made a slight overcorrection. His group is a little high and left right now, but without a doubt, we're going to see him in the middle of this next set. Come on. Well, we talked about him being very consistent this season. This is his full match. All the arrows he's shot so far. That eight, the only one creeping outside the center, but uh, not a bad grouping. Not at all. Uh, you can see that he just has a couple arrows high, a couple arrows left, but overall, fairly good group. Needed a 10 to take the points in that set, and he got it. Via shooting first in set four. Another nine. It's not a bad arrow at all, but Vandenberg is hitting the tens at the moment. Wow. He is on fire. Well, big pull there of the bow from Steve Vier. It's another nine. Can 
and Chef Vandenberg put him under more pressure with another 10. Nine. It's a nine, it's place. enough. It's still in Vandenberg's hands. Finishes with a 10. It's another 28, but a nine is all Vandenberg needs to win. And that's what he gets, a nine, it's a 28. They draw the fourth set as they did the second, uh, but it's enough for Chef Vandenberg to take victory here, six points to two. Vanessa, tough when teammates face each other, but Chef Vandenberg was on great form there. He was, he needs to keep thinking about these great shots that he shot in these uh, quarterfinals. Unfortunately, he doesn't look so happy because he's shooting against his teammate. You know, they didn't look happy when the draw came out, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Chef Vandenberg makes it through into the semi-finals here at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals of 2019.